Hello, I'm John Miles, developer of the Symmetricom 3120A phase noise test probe. We're about to look at an application for the 3120A that you might not have considered before. At Symmetricom, GPS discipline time and frequency standards are an important part of our business. These devices are designed with strict commercial and regulatory standards in mind. In fact, one of the most important specs of all involves the behavior of a GPS disciplined oscillator when the GPS signal goes away. Anything from a bird landing on an antenna to deliberate jamming to a large-scale natural disaster can degrade or block GPS reception. A GPS disciplined oscillator's ability to maintain accurate timing performance during periods of signal loss is called holdover, and we can use the 3120A to measure it. On this test bench, I've been using the 3120A to monitor the phase and frequency stability of the Symmetricom GPS 2000 timing receiver for the past 24 hours. The 3120A is actually comparing the receiver's 10 MHz output with a 10 MHz reference signal from a 5071A cesium beam standard, also from Symmetricom. The GPS 2000's antenna cable goes through this coax relay, and now I'm going to force the GPS 2000 into holdover mode by opening that connection. Notice that the 1PPS LED stopped blinking shortly after I did that. The GPS 2000's onboard oscillator is no longer disciplined by GPS, but it's not free running either. The GPS 2000 is instead using its knowledge of the oscillator's behavior over the past few days to try to keep its drift under control in the absence of a GPS signal. The specification for the GPS 2000 calls for less than 60 microseconds of phase drift over a 24-hour holdover period. I'll come back in 24 hours and restore the antenna connection and then let the measurement run for another 24 hours so we can see both the holdover and recovery behavior. Hello again. It's been a total of 72 hours since we started our test, and the 3120A has recorded more than 25 million phase data points at 10 millisecond intervals during that time. We can see that the GPS 2000 easily met its 60 microsecond holdover spec during the period with the antenna disconnected in the middle of the run. The total phase drift versus the cesium standard was well under 10 microseconds. Additionally, once the GPS antenna was reconnected, the unit immediately stopped drifting. Within a few hours, it returned to its original level of performance. Let's take a look at the same data set as a frequency stability plot. The 10 MHz signal stayed well within one part per billion during the holdover period. During the 24-hour recovery period, we can see a few excursions in the 2E-9 range, but by the time the test finished, it was right back on target and actually shows a little bit less short-term noise than when we started. And again, because the 3120A recorded so much data, we can zoom in for a better understanding of what happened at any given time. Thanks for watching.